last few months have been kind of a whirlwind because it started off with uh, going to the test event in uh, London, which was so cool. It was really, really exciting to see the pool and to see where hopefully I will be in, <laughs> in late July and August. And um, it's been a pretty crazy couple of months, but it's been so much fun, it's so exciting. I wouldn't trade the experience for the world, especially being at Stanford, it's just so amazing. It's like no other place I've ever been. And it really, it's such a grounding experience being at Stanford too, because I think like, oh, what I'm doing is pretty cool. Like I'm going to London and like, hopefully I have a chance to make the Olympic team, but then it's like, oh, well, someone next to me could be a concert pianist. It's really motivating and really grounding. So I'm just so happy to be where I am. I think for young divers, at least just live in the moment they need to have fun because if it's not fun, then you're not going to get anywhere with it. For me, I mean, there's been certain times when I've been diving and I'm like, I'm not having fun. This is not what I want to do. And then I've been lucky enough to have parents that have said, okay, just take a break, buddy, because you know, like diving is what I love. I love it so much, but sometimes it can just be like all consuming and especially when that's all that you're doing. So you, I feel like for younger people that are in the sport, you need to remember why you love it and just do the sport because you love the sport, not because, well, eventually it could get you into college or eventually you could get to the Olympics. Do it because you love it and if that's your motivation, then you'll get really far.